All right, I've been seeing these little Vorons everywhere, but I don't know the story. So tell me, first off, who are you and what the heck am I looking at? Hello, I'm Max, um, and I'm the founder of the Voron Project. Uh, it started off as a company, actually. Um, I founded a company, 3 Green Company, in 2016. Uh, it didn't go as well because founding startup companies in the U.S., in your garage, is not very profitable. Uh, so I folded up the business and completely open sourced it, and then it blew up. So what... What exactly is a Voron? I'll tell you what I what I see looking around is they all look awesome. Like there's this very specific visual design to the extruder and like this whole little compact kind of case. What makes a Voron a Voron? Um, that's a question that's been asked a lot of times actually. Uh, aesthetic is definitely on the forefront of the minds. Um, but being able to build this from commodity parts and being able to print this at home, it's really like one of the few remaining rep rep projects where you're actually truly getting off the shelf parts, printing your own custom parts and then putting it all together in your garage. like I see a lot of speed benches with these right so what makes them so why, why are people using these to do fast stuff um, well these are engineered to do fast prints unattended and for a long time and the way the reason they're designed this way is because we run a printed forward program for all of the kit the hardware kits um, a lot of people have problems printing ABS which is the major requirement for these machines specifically because it's all enclosed um, so in order to do that, we have a whole bunch of people that have borons printing boron parts for other people. So very much and the rep rep project. And runs, yeah. full plates, all the time, and okay. that's how we basically beat up our printers. That's our QA. Okay, okay. Uh, we have more QA than some of the companies that, you know. Now these are adorable. I see tons of them. It's got to feel good walking oh. around and seeing Vorons on all these tables. It is surreal. Uh, I have to tell you, it is surreal. So me and um, and somebody from one of the manufacturers were walking around and taking account. And there's only one other company that has more printers on tables here than the Voron. Wow. So it's really interesting. That's yeah. Insane. Yeah, this is really cool. Very cool stuff. So if somebody wanted to get started with a Voron... Uh, let's start with like what kind of budget? What kind of budget would you need to build the the bottom end? The bottom end would be this little guy here. Well, actually, this little guy. This is a uh, community model. But there's no. But this is a more on zero. Um, I think the the budget is five hundred to seven hundred, depending on what kind of parts you want to get. It's really, the, the thing about Morons is you can source your own parts, so you can go as expensive as you would like. If you'd like to get genuine highland, genuine everything, and spend a lot of money on everything, you can deck it out, and it's going to be amazing. But you'll spend a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is our 2.4 flagship printer, uh, stationary bed, the gantry moves and see. Um, and this will run you from anywhere from 1700 all the way to whatever you want to spend on Yeah. And to be clear, you guys don't sell machines, right? No. So when, when I'm asking you the price, just for the people watching, That's we're not awesome. talking about what you sell them for. We're talking about what it costs for you to build one because yeah. Voron is not a company that sells machines. It's an initiative more, really. We do generate a lot of revenue for our suppliers. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, it's, bomb, it's basically bomb price. 
Yeah, okay, uh, so the so building materials. So whatever it costs you to, build, to buy the parts to build one. Very cool. We will do our best to provide you documentation to make it as painless as possible. And if you run into problems 24-7, you can jump on our Discord, and there's going to be some there, somebody there to help you. Very cool. So if somebody wanted to get involved and wanted to build one, where could they learn more? Uh, go to warrendesign.com website. Uh, there's links to our Discord and Reddit page. Uh, if Discord is not your thing, um, uh, if you would like it, there's a list of printers over there. If you have questions about which one to choose, again, pop on the Discord and ask. Perfect, perfect. And that's vorondesign.com. Very cool. All right, man, thank you very much. The interview you just saw took place at Midwest Rep Rap Festival in Goshen, Indiana. Going on back there. Uh, be sure to check at our members area at make.co. There's actually a full tour of the event uploaded there.